Welcome to the bakery. This is the hottest place in the store. It's really, it's really cool. I, I really like shopping here because it's, um, it's clean and it feels, you know, right. Well, if you didn't have a food safety program, I wouldn't be shopping here. If you could read all that stuff about diseases and that, that's, you know... It's got to be fresh. Oh, yeah. The bakery is very much the most sensory of all the departments. The sights, sounds and, of course, the smells of a bakery are what make customers come around. Unfortunately, the things that make the great smells and tastes are the very things that we're trying to eliminate from every other area of the store. Bugs. You see, bacteria and other microorganisms like the yeast that makes bread rise grow best in warm, moist conditions, like in this prover. The rest of the bakery is quite warm too, and there is every possibility that if bugs, including food poisoning bugs, get in, then they will grow. The results of that can be devastating. Well, I had a cream bun once that made me feel so sick that I just never went back to the place. To keep food safe, we have a program called the Five Steps to Food Safety. You'll see posters like this, and they are guides to help you handle food safely. Your supervisor will be able to help you if you have any questions. It's for this reason that cleaning and sanitizing of surfaces and utensils is so important. Cleaning is the removal of dirt, and sanitizing is the removal of bacteria or bugs. There's a separate video program about these, as well as a temperature monitoring program that you should watch. Some foods will support the growth of bugs or bacteria better than others, and it is for this reason that foods containing cream, meat, cheese or egg products need to be refrigerated. This cold chain applies to delivery, storage of ingredients, preparation and sale. Some bacteria can make people sick and others can make food go off. That's why food safety and the way that you handle food are so important. I like a strong wholesome bread but I don't want any unpleasant surprises. I don't want to find anything in my loaf that shouldn't be in my loaf if you know what I mean. The other problem in the bakery comes from the fact that so many of the ingredients are wholesome, natural and in many respects relatively unprocessed. It is not uncommon for splinters of wood, stones and other foreign matter to get into ingredients. It is only by looking out for these that you can stop them getting into the final product. Food safety. Of course it's important. It's what you can't see that's the worry. Add to this the fact that bakeries are very much hands-on, and there's another worry. Hair, plasters, stones from rings, grease, scraps, they could easily fall onto and into bowls, trays, and products. You'll see these posters in the bakery, and they're a guide to keeping the food that you sell safe and free from foreign objects. Your own personal hygiene is important too. As a guideline, you must be certain to follow these simple rules. Hands must be cleaned and sanitized before handling food. Cuts and scratches must be covered with blue waterproof dressings and either a disposable glove or finger protector. Uniforms and aprons must be kept clean. Aprons are not to be worn away from the department. Avoid touching the face and hair when handling food. In all food preparation and service areas, clean hats must be worn to contain hair. In addition to these five steps, there is another that covers plasters and first aid. The five steps are designed to remind you of the hazards to food in your area, as well as how to control them. The main points for the bakery are 1. Opened bags of mix and other ingredients must be folded over or stored in closed lidded containers off the floor. 2. Ungreased trays or tins are to be stored face down. Grease tins are to be stored face up and covered. 3. Surfaces and machinery must be kept clean of all debris before they are used. Clean as you go. 4. Product and packaging is not to be stored on the floor. 5. All perishable products, egg pulp, dairy produce, meats, 
eggs and yeast must be stored under refrigeration until such time as they are to be used. You can see from this that there are many ways that food can become contaminated. Food safety is such an issue that we have decided to adopt the following policy. You are a major player in this. To sell only clean, safe and hygienic food. To ensure that product is received from warranted suppliers only. To ensure that all staff understand and implement the appropriate codes of practice. To monitor and record the effectiveness of the system. To take all reasonable steps to ensure that the five steps to food safety program is implemented at all times. So by this point, the product has been baked and is ready for sale. Remembering all we have learnt about time, temperature, food and moisture, as well as buzz growing, we can apply the five steps to the bakery service case. 1. Keep doors closed when not in use. 2. Handle product either with the bag inside out, or tongs that have been stored in the case, or if loading the case, use disposable gloves. 3. Check product temperature twice daily. 4. Rotate product in the case and check overall cleanliness. FIFO. First in, first out. 5. Ensure that garnishes are thoroughly clean and sanitised. Avoid foods coming into direct contact with garnishes or decoration. Well, that's the main areas of your work covered. Remember that you will find these five steps posters in your area of work. Following them is your responsibility. If you don't understand anything, just ask your supervisor. With regard to your own personal hygiene, these are the vital points to remember. Always wash your hands thoroughly before handling food or after getting them dirty by taking a break, touching your face or hair, touching rubbish or raw foods, or going to the toilet. You should use the hand sanitizer every time you enter your department. Your hair must be tied back if long, and of course you must wear a hat. If possible, you should get changed into your uniform at work. Otherwise, you must take care that your uniform is clean when you start. With regard to jewellery and your hands, please keep nails short. Only a wedding ring is acceptable. And please, no nail polish. The idea is to look and feel like a food handler. Make sure as well that your apron is kept clean. Wash it in hot water every day. Use a deodorant and make sure that you shower daily. If you have a cut finger, only use a blue coloured plaster and be sure to wear a glove or finger protector over it. If you have a stomach upset or other illness that may put food at risk, please let your supervisor know. So let's recap. The program is called the Five Steps to Food Safety. You are responsible to make sure that it works. Your responsibilities are to keep yourself and your area clean, handle food safely, only work with clean and sanitized equipment. Ensure that temperatures are correct and follow the five steps. If you are aware of anything that you feel may be putting food at risk, you must report this to your supervisor. You'll find the five steps posters throughout your area of work. It is your responsibility to understand and follow these. If you are in any doubt, there are three things that you should do. One, check the five steps poster. Two, ask your supervisor. Or three, check the manual. And that way, we'll live up to our customers' expectations and the five steps policy. Food safety? I haven't got time for that. That's not my concern. That's yours. Say to the grandchildren, you can't beat good old-fashioned elbow grease. I like to see discipline in any operation. Without discipline, quality can't be expected, can it?